right, so just getting in this morning. Uh, just gonna kind of recap, or uh, sorry, no, restart. <laughs> there is no restart. <laughs> all right, there mm. you go. <laughs> this is gonna be an uh, all day thing. Yeah, I know. All right, so just getting in this morning. Uh, just gonna talk about what we've got going on today. Uh, so in a little bit early so we can knock out some emails that came in last night. Um, you know, check the business phone for text, things like that before we get into training. Uh, we've got a lot of training sessions to, to get through with, uh, with my training dog. So we're gonna be working on that this morning. Um, around lunchtime, we'll be heading out to James Island. We've got a consultation. Uh, so this is a service that we offer free in-home consultations for prospective clients. So we're gonna go check out a dog at a client's, uh, potential client's home. Um, just kind of see what they've got going on, uh, work in some distraction with a, uh, one of our training dogs. And then uh, we'll be heading back here to headquarters to finish out some training sessions. And we've got a kennel visit uh, to handle as well. So this is similar to a consultation, but where uh, you know a prospective client wants to come and check out our place. So we'll kind of give them a tour, check out their dog, show them around, kind of tell them what we're all about. Um, so that's kind of roughly what we got going on today. So I'm gonna get in and uh, take care of some emails first before we get started. Training here, I'm grabbing three spots. I've got uh, three dogs that are from the same home. They're uh, almost ready to go home, but we're uh, just kind of solidifying some duration in the spot. Uh, so that's kind of what we're going to start out with today. Spots. Chris, spot stealer. set it up as it will be in, the, in their home, you know, in close proximity. We're going to put all three dogs. I'm going to work them individually, just kind of warm up, get them into the, you know, the normal daily routine, doing some obedience and stuff like that. And then we'll put them in their spot while I work some other dogs and uh, work on some duration. Crowding around in here. Get out of here. Get out of here, Benjamin. This is uh, this is Grumpy Viola. She's grumpy early in the morning. She's not <laughs> grumpy. Well, I always kind of start off my dogs. Start off the day with uh, just some basic obedience. More or less, I'm doing the same stuff every single day, just to kind of get them in that in that routine, get them into the ritual of uh, working, right? And so I'm basically just doing basic obedience. So I'm working on right now some 90 degree turns, turning to the right. Then I'll go to the left. doing some left turns. He did start to go down on that one, but you see there's a little gap between his elbows and the ground. That's not a completed down, so still consistent accountability. 
Ferris Cup. Heel. Good. Heel. Good. Alright, so now with him, we're going to start doing some duration spot time. So now I'm going to go get the uh, one of the other ones that, that's in the household, Ginny, while Ferris maintains the spot here. And then we'll put Ginny and Cedric in there as well. Alright, so uh, we've done some duration here on the spot with all three of them here. Uh, been about an hour. Nope. 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 Good. So about an hour of spot time, so now we're going to just do a little quick pack walk with all three of them. trainees you know that are all from the same house this is a big part of training uh, walking them together working on their own individual bond um, but responding to strong leadership together right so a lot of people can be overwhelmed by this no nope. a lot of people can get overwhelmed by having so many dogs there's a lot of components here sometimes you can kind of feel like some of those puppet masters right <laughs> but uh it is it is a challenge so we always recommend you know with, with the owners solidify the, your leadership with them individually. So there's a lot of work involved in that and working them one-on-one, -on -one, one at a time. Once once your leadership is in place individually, then you start doing this, right? Because now I know that they individually respect me. So now it's not as challenging working them all together at the same time. So one of the, one of the things that I'm doing here deliberately, Jenny is on the outside. So remember, she's she's a little bit insecure. So we're trying to boost her confidence. So I've got her out on the outside. So like a lot of times, we'll be out in distraction. She's a little bit fearful. We we cross by some kind of decorative fountain or something like that. Nope. Nope. Good. I'm forcing her to be on the outside to kind of go through some of that stress and learn to overcome it. Right. So sometimes she will kind of pop herself in between the two boys here. And obviously she gets some comfort out of that. It's not terrible. It's not a bad thing. No, no. But our, our long-term goals are we want her to build some self-confidence. Now a good spot up here to work some duration behavior for a minute. all three together we still expect the expectation so when I stop we expect an automatic sit or an automatic down right when I give them the down all together I expect them all to go down notice Ferris stayed up in a in a sit so I just said nope I corrected him I'm not using names or anything like that he knows that he is deviating from the expectations the other two are good so there's no correction needed there obviously <clears throat> good Spot time, did a nice little pack walk. We're gonna give them a little potty break, put them back in the kennel, let them kind of have a water break, chill out for a little bit, and then we'll probably have some more uh, duration spot time for them later on. 